Hey everybody, Sean here from Board Paracord and Paracord.com. Today I want to show you a real easy bracelet to do. It's very similar to the sliding knot bracelet that I have here, except we're going to put an eternity knot right on the front of it. This knot is real easy to do. I have, oh, I don't know, about two and a half feet of paracord here, not much. This is the Colonial Blue, nice color blue, I like this one. So the first thing we want to do is seal our ends just so that they don't you know, unravel on you. And we're going to find our center point, which is right here. And we just need to make a basic loop here. So what I like to do to make my loop is grab this right side and just kind of twist it like that so you get your loop. Real easy to do. Now I want to have a little extra on my right cord here as you can see, because this is the cord that's going to have most of the knot kind of built into it. So it's going to take up more of the slack than the left side here. So we have our, our little loop there. It's going to go underneath, around, and over top off to the right. Grab your right cord, make another loop just like this, and you're going to stick it up inside of that first loop. And what I like to do just create that loop, give it a pinch right here, hold it there, and while you're still pinching right here, go ahead and pull the slack out. And that's going to tighten right around that loop that you just put through there. And basically what you've got here is a slip knot. You can pull this and that knot comes out. It's real easy to make again. Just like that. Let me show you again. I'm going to create your loop. Create another loop, just like that, stick it through there, pinch this, and then pull that slack out, and you have another loop just like that. And you're just going to pull that down. You don't have to pull this super tight yet, it really doesn't look right if you pull it extremely tight on this one. So now what you want to do is grab this end, and let me make sure I'm focused. I think I am, I just want to make sure, yeah, there we are. Okay. So you're going to take this end, go down through that loop. Pull it a little ways through so that you have a big loop here. And then what you want to do is grab hold of this cord here and just pull that slack out of that other loop there. Now once you have that, see this cord here is kind of going straight down toward the table. What I want to do now is kind of flip it so that it's coming straight up toward the camera. Once you have that flip that way, I'm going to zoom in on this just a little bit. You can kind of see that this cord right here is kind of doing like the zigzag thing underneath. So what I want to do is make it go back down like this. So now you can kind of see it, it goes down, up, and down. And when I do that, it creates a loop here. And what I want to do is just, so you can kind of twist this cord. So I don't like how it has that, that little crisscross there. So I want to turn it towards me. And I want to create a loop here. Now once I have a loop here, I'm just going to grab this, this end that's coming up towards the camera, the, the one that was from before, and we're going to go down through that loop. So you just poke it right down through that loop. Once you get to this point, where it comes up at you, right here, you're going to pull that slack out. And you want to do it in a way that it doesn't bind everything up. So you want to do a little at a time. Just keep doing a little at a time. There we go. And as long as you do a little at a time each time, you will end up, and you might have to adjust it a little bit, but you'll end up with that eternity knot. And if you did it just like I did, you might only have to do it one or two times before you get it. But both sides are going to look identical. When you flip it over, it's just in reverse. But that's your eternity knot. Now, the part that's a little tricky, but not too bad, you're going to take this. This is going to be on your wrist. And you want to kind of create a loop here of what would be your bracelet. So this is basically your wrist here. You're just going to cross these over. And I like to pinch right here. Now, the way that you're going to do this is you have your right cord over your left cord, like that. Pinch over top of it. And just basically loop this around two times. 
Now once you loop it around two times, see how it kind of shows, it makes the letter N right here, up, down, up. So you're going to loop it around two times, and then you're going to take this end and poke it through two of those loops, just like that. And you're going to pull that tight. Now what happens when you pull this tight, All right, so now you've got your eternity knot. We're just gonna make a loop. And this is basically where it's gonna be around your wrist. So what you wanna do is you wanna have your right cord over your left cord. We're going to take our left, or the right cord now, go down through the center, and loop around this cord here, and do it again, just like that. Now once you have two loops there, you want to take your cord back around and through those two loops. And you're going to pull that tight. And that gives you a sliding knot. Basically what we can do now is we can cut this and singe it right there. And we'll have a nice sliding knot. And it's the same knot that I have here. I've been wearing this bracelet for about two years now and it, I've never taken it off. It, it's holding up pretty nicely. Okay, so we have one. Now what we wanna do is create the other one. And it's real simple. We're just going to wrap around the inside strand. So let me show you this. So this is the strand that's going back around here. We wanna take this cord two times around it, just like that. Now you want to take this cord back toward the other side and through those two loops, just like that. I know it's kind of hard to see, but this cord right here, it's coming from this other knot. You're, you're basically wrapping it around two times, this cord. After you wrap it around twice, bring it back around to the side where it started and fish it through right there. Now I want this knot to be kind of close to this one so that it closes properly. So I'm just going to kind of cinch everything up right there. And once I get that tight, we got a little bit of slack. I just got to figure out where it's going. Maybe right there. Yeah, there it is. All right, there we can pull that tight. And then you basically have your bracelet. Now you can open this up by just sliding these knots, you can get your hand in there now. And then to tighten it, you just pull on these pieces here, and that'll tighten up your bracelet. Now, one thing that you do wanna do is we're gonna cut these ends right here. So that's just the excess that we have left over. I'm gonna cut it, just like that. And I don't have a smoothing tool down here, but we're just gonna use the edge of our, our lighter and I just ran out of fluid. <laughs> well, that figures. Let me see if this one's got some in it. It doesn't feel like it does. Oh, it does. So we'll just melt that end just like that and kind of smooth it over. Make sure that it slides because you don't want it to melt the actual cord itself. See, I kind of got it a little bit right there. You don't want to fuse it together, otherwise it won't slide. And we'll just do this other side real quick. There we go. And get everything out of the way before I melt it, because I don't want to melt the actual, the actual cord that it slides on. And we'll just kind of fuse that over. You want to fuse it so that this doesn't pull through the knot. And that's basically all there is to it. Um, that is the Eternity Knot Bracelet with the sliding knots. These sliding knots make it real easy to put on and off. When you wanna tighten it down, you just pull on the knots and it closes right down on it. And uh, yeah, basically that's about it. Um, I hope you like this design. If you wanna post all of your creations and see what else, and see what everybody else is doing, head on over to the Facebook group, over 21,000 members in there now. Um, it's called Paracord On, and it's facebook.com slash groups 
slash paracordon. Tons of people in there. So check them out. I hang out in there. And I, I believe you can find the description and everything down in the, uh, or the, uh, the link for it down in the description. But uh, until next time, paracordon.